right where I left off in my last vlog. So if you missed that, go and watch that week in my life. Basically, after I said goodbye to you in the last vlog, I took a shower, ate some of my vegan chili, took a few moments of silence, posted some photos from the event that I went to today, and now we are getting ready because we're gonna head to the West Village. One of my friends, Caroline from LA, she actually moved to New York a mm, couple of years ago now. She used to do PR for free people, and when she was working for free people, she worked with me as a content creator. So we became friends that way, probably like, gosh, five years ago. And she's having a housewarming party tonight because she just moved to a new apartment. And so I'm gonna go stop by. I'm pretty tired from the day, <laughs> not gonna lie, but I'm excited to see her. And then my friend Julia just got back from Europe and she also lives in the West Village. So I'm gonna stop by her place first. Also, if this is your first video of mine, hi, welcome, I'm Shayla. I moved to New York City five months ago. I just assumed that you would have already seen one of my videos, but maybe this is the first video that you're seeing. And if it is, hi, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Don't even know what my hair looks like, but it's raining outside, so that's okay. <laughs> Just gonna get messed up anyway. Wearing this new little crop sweater that I got from Revolve and my faux leather pants, my favorite black booties. I will link everything below as I do, as well as like everything in my apartment and anything I show or share in this vlog will be linked in the description box. Now, for those of you that are not new, you'll know that I always forget an umbrella, but hopefully you're proud of me because I finally got a little small compact umbrella and I'm bringing it with me. So there's no chance I'm getting caught in the rain tonight unprepared. <laughs> Just wanna put a big load of laundry in that can dry while we go. And then I also want to stop at Whole Foods and pick up some flowers for Caroline because you never want to go anywhere empty handed, especially a housewarming party. So I feel like that'll be nice. Okay, let's go. ready because I'm heading into the city because I'm speaking on a panel slash on a live podcast recording. My girlfriend Aubrey Winters is in town this weekend. She's doing live workout events and also doing a live podcast recording today for which, as I said, I'm a guest speaker on, which I'm really excited about. She did like an influencer preview yesterday and I went to that, which was so fun. And yeah, today we're going back to do the little recording. Hopefully meet some of you from my community IRL, as well as connect with some people from Aubrey's community. And I'm just really excited. It is a gloomy rainy day out, which is making it a little hard to get going this morning But I got my coffee. I'm dressed. We're gonna bring the sunshine energy even though it's gray cloudy and gloomy out I'm not even gonna lie. My apartment is an actual Disaster right now, which is not my norm It's just been a crazy couple of days and there is stuff everywhere like it's frightening Let me show you the living room is not so bad. In fact, it's not bad at all The living room looks totally fine. My kitchen looks like a disaster I have packages out a little table was delivered as well as some stuff from H&M that I want to open up later And then I had some like PR boxes and deliveries It was kind of hanging out in the entryway But now that I have this little cabinet that I built which we did in my last vlog I've kind of pushed everything over here into the bathroom and that's just not a vibe We need to figure that out and then the scariest part is my bedroom <laughs> I have tons 
of deliveries over here, some PR gifting and some stuff that I ordered because I'm revamping my wardrobe for fall. So I kind of want to organize that or at least try stuff on, see what I'm going to keep and see what I'm going to send back. Clean laundry on my bed, unmade bed, literally stuff everywhere. It's honestly giving me a little anxiety. <laughs> And I wanna take care of it immediately, but I don't have time to do that this morning. So hopefully we'll have time after this event to do some organizing and get things semi in order because the current state of my apartment is not a freaking vibe at all. I'm not okay with it. never done that and really felt just so good to connect with people in person and to have a conversation and Dino and Sab and of course Aubrey were all just 
wonderful people and I'm excited to have made new friends and I just love Aubrey so much and I really feel like so filled up and charged up. It was so good. It's a little after two. I have dinner plans with my girlfriend Julia who I saw briefly last night and then we might be going to a concert which is very late night which is not my norm but you only live once so I was like okay why not let's try and see if we can stay up that late. I have no idea. Stopped at Whole Foods, as you saw, and I got some vegan pizza because I figured it would be easier to do just like a little quick lunch, have a late lunch. And then I want to try to organize and clean up a little bit in here because as I showed you this morning, it's a disaster. So I'm just gonna heat this up. It's basically like a salad pizza. <laughs> and then we will try and handle all this madness. But first I gotta take you guys out on a walk. I gotta take you guys out on a walk, huh? Okay. I also meal prepped some of my kale detox salad. Was it yesterday or the day before? So I'm gonna actually have a salad as well. And a slice of pizza. And I think we should watch an episode of Tell Me Lies. Hey, are you Lucy? Yeah, I'm Jimmy Rooney, Charlie. Fall. Also, happy October 1st. I didn't even say that this morning. Oh my gosh, it's a new month. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna have to throw on a podcast and like get through this. How did I let it get like this? Also, I know I'm incredibly late to the party, but I just started listening to Girls Gotta Eat and I am kind of obsessed with this podcast. It's just so funny. It's a little edgy and a little crude, I'm not gonna lie, but it is pretty entertaining and so far from anything else that I listen to slash talk about that it's, it's pretty funny. are feeling much cleaner in here. I did not tackle my closet or this corner of stuff to try on, but I did fold all my laundry and we will deal with that maybe tomorrow or Monday. Also did get my bathroom organized and cleaned, which feels great. So I'm meeting Julia in like three hours. Obviously I need to get ready. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. But before that, I just realized that I did not finish editing the vlog that is going up tomorrow. So I need to do that now. Three hours later. Oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock. Ah, I need to get ready. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love my outfit and I really wish I would have revamped my closet prior to this. <laughs> Because I feel like it's so hard for me to get dressed because I either have super, super summery dresses or just like big oversized chunky sweaters. I have nothing in between because I've purchased some sweaters. I am like lacking in the jeans department. I realized while getting dressed, I really need and want like a good pair of jeans that is darker washed. Anyway, I know these are really silly problems in the grand scheme of things, but I have been having fun with getting dressed in like regular clothes more often than I used to in LA. And I just have been taking pride in some of my outfits and I feel like tonight is just not my best. But that's okay, we're going with it. I have like a plain white Zara tank on, high-waisted black jeans that are honestly a tad too tight. <laughs> and just some like comfy black combat boots and my varsity jacket that I just got from Boohoo. Meeting up with Julia, we're gonna go have dinner at the Butcher's Daughter and then we'll probably grab a drink somewhere before the show because we're gonna go see Hayden James at this place called Elsewhere in Brooklyn. He is a DJ and I don't think that he goes on until midnight, which is insane. I don't totally know what I'm getting into, but Julia had an extra ticket and she invited me and I was like, you know what? YOLO, we're going. Why not do something different than I normally do and just have fun? So that's the plan. I will of course 
take clips on my phone. And if I don't talk to you tonight, then I will chat to you tomorrow. Good morning! Oh my gosh, last night was seriously so fun. I love Julia so much and it honestly just was so fun to just like dance and listen to music. I actually woke up this morning feeling pretty damn good and I think that's because I drank a ton of water. I had a really good meal, I didn't drink too much and I actually was able to sleep in until like nine o'clock, which that might not be late for some of you, but I don't, I don't think I've ever slept in that late. <laughs> I need to finish editing today's YouTube video that's going live because it is Sunday and I was editing until like eight o'clock last night, but because I had that event yesterday, I didn't get as much time to finish editing. So I need to do that. And I also have a call for my 12 week program, the Yoga Inspired Life program. So I thought I would just like throw on a mask and I will edit a little bit this morning. Also this mask combo is so scary. I feel like I get asked a lot, like now that I'm dating, people will ask me like, does it worry me or scare me that somebody that I'm dating like might look at my YouTube videos and if I feel self-conscious about it and honestly like usually no but this is a moment where it's like I'd rather you not see this <laughs> Absolutely loving this rainy weather today, but I'm not looking forward to taking the dogs out right now because it is pouring rain. Fellow dog moms will get it. Somehow it's three o'clock and I still haven't finished editing the video. Editing YouTube videos is my absolute favorite thing, but it is so time consuming. I wish you knew how much time and energy and focus go into each of my vlogs. Like even if they're just 16 or 25 minutes, like it takes days to edit. And maybe that's just because I'm a perfectionist, I don't know. But luckily I freaking love it. So I'm not complaining, but I'm like, damn, the day is halfway over. Anyway, I am gonna take the dogs out. I need to finish editing. I also need to prep for the call because that's like in an hour. And I think I'm gonna order from 12 chairs and get some like hummus and pita. Sounds like so good to me. 12 chairs is an Israeli restaurant. It's amazing. 
might be nice to have like leftovers for the next few days too. You guys ready? I'm warning you now. It is raining outside. I know you're not gonna be very happy about it, but this is just what we have to do. It is time for the Yoga Inspired Life community call, and this is my setup. It's still so bloomy outside. It's giving me all of the cozy vibes though. Just wrapped up the call, which went so well. I always love connecting with my community in those calls. It's just so special. Oh my gosh, I'm offended. They sent me four things of silverware. Like, no, this is all for me. This order is for one person. So I got some cauliflower, some of their hummus, some tabbouleh salad. This I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, but it's like this spicy, it almost reminds me of harissa, but it's definitely not. It's delicious. So I got some of that, some olives, falafel, and they have the best pita bread there. It's so fluffy and delicious. I'm so excited. I'm gonna make myself a little plate, eat a little something, and then I need to finish editing that vlog and get it up. Also just remembered my laundry needs to go into the dryer. I like heard it going off when I was on the call. Oh, so last night was so freaking fun. We had such a nice dinner at the butcher's daughter. We both ate so much that we were like so full after. But um, yeah, it was really, really yummy. Like I said, we went to this venue called Elsewhere, which is like deep in Brooklyn. And it was massive. It was like so big. There were so many different rooms. We kept getting logged. I really did not think that I was gonna last all the way until midnight because I just had such a big weekend. And honestly, like a huge week it was just a lot going on a lot of events a lot of seeing friends a lot of work and i kept looking at her and i was like i'm getting really tired and then we got a second wind hayden james played and it was so fun we truly just danced and laughed and had so much fun i just like i just had a great time it's definitely not my normal thing to do but it was so fun and i definitely want to do that more often I opened up all the food containers and then I didn't even eat it. I decided it was more of a priority to finish the vlog, which I just finished, which is great. So that's exporting. And now I can finally eat.